hello, welcome to a vlog. I don't entirely know where to start. Uh, I feel like the f the first question is uh, why why what are like what are we doing here? And uh, great question. So glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> the thing that we are doing here is I bought a house. Uh, maybe that's like before before the first question. I bought a house, and that's where I am now. Uh, it's very cool, very exciting that I, I own this house. I have so many little projects and like plans and dreams for this house. Many things that I have already started working on and um, I'm really excited about it. But also a lot of it is uh, dominated by my like larger sense of I can just attempt a thing and I'll see how it goes. And if I like it, great. If I don't like it, then I don't know, I'll just start over, do something else. I'm getting stuck in this weird sort of holding pattern where I don't quite know where to begin, where it feels like in order to do one thing, I have to do these three things before I do that one thing. But so for example, the basement where we currently are, uh, behind me is my little office setup. Off to my left is my washer and dryer. To my right is where I will eventually set up my sewing machine. Uh, so like, I don't know, a lot is going to be happening down here and it's not a small space. And so it feels like in order to fix up this space, I have to do the whole thing. Uh, but that is wild and like not actually necessary. Like I don't actually have to paint the whole basement in order to, for example, set up my little office space. It might look to you like I've already set it up. You know, I have my desk, I have my monitors, whatever, but there's a bunch of stuff that I have intentionally not set up. Like I set it up to sort of the bare minimum level that I can come down here and work, but I find myself only coming down here to work like maybe two, two days of the week, three tops. Uh, and like, that's rare. Usually I am working from my kitchen table. Anyway, I have decided that I just need to begin. Like I just need to like pick a point and get started. Additionally, I thought it would be fun to document. I filmed a video like when I first bought the house, like the day that I closed, I kind of quickly like, here's what it looks like on day one, just so that I would have like a, a record of, of it, but I have not actually been documenting all of the little changes that I've made up to this point. And I feel like I will want that later. So much of what I'm doing is just trying stuff out uh, and like teaching myself things as I go guessing, a lot of guesswork. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing that with the sewing vlogs. I enjoyed documenting the process of figuring it out. And I don't know, having people point out to me if you know they saw something that I coulda, shoulda, woulda done differently. Like that's also really, really cool. I just think it could be fun to share the journey of making this into a space that I really like and want to spend a bunch of time in. I loved the office space that I had set up uh, at my parents' house. It was really cool. And it like was a space that I was happy to be in for many, many hours of the day. I think all the time about how much I wish that I had documented us retiling the floor in there. Granted, that's a little bit because uh, my dad was part of that process and I wish that I had video of this, you know, <sighs> big project that I did with my parents, but I don't. So anyway, my first project, the first thing that I am going to document is getting this little space all situated. Uh, I am going to paint the walls behind me. Well, first I got to, you know, move all of this out of the way. I'm going to paint the walls. I have some like bookshelves that I'm going to put up to help create a sense of, of like a room, sort of carving out the, the space here that is my office from the rest of the basement. In addition to all the problems that I've been having with getting started because it's like, oh, I don't wanna do the whole project all at once uh, and whatever, whatever. Uh, I've also been avoiding getting started on the project because I was like, oh, if I'm gonna do a video, then I have to record a little intro. I keep inventing all these like steps in the process and making it bigger in my head than it actually needs to be. Uh, so, <laughs> This is really step one for me, is <laughs> sitting down to record this little introduction. So anyway, um, I, I guess I'm gonna need to start moving stuff out of the way so I can start painting. Actually, the first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you around this space so you can see what we're working with. So what you just saw behind me, that's the, like the corner that is my desk. That's like the main focal point that we're working with. Um, this way, I have a door and basically I'm gonna paint this whole wall through uh, over to that line. So where the little like fringy guys are, um, there's a like 
beam there. And I'm treating that as kind of the back of the, the room that is my office. And uh, basically that's the point that I need to paint to. So like my goal is to get from here all the way over there. For now I have this little like curtain situation uh, as a backdrop for when I do take work calls and stuff right here, because otherwise, as you can see, my washer and dryer are directly behind that. Um, those are the bookshelves that I intend to put right here. Uh, and then this is all of the everything else uh, that, you know, needs to find a home down here eventually. And that's all for now. Uh, doing projects in the evenings is surprisingly difficult. So I recorded that whole intro section on Sunday night. Um, and then yesterday, all I managed to do was move some stuff around. Like I moved everything off the walls and I tarped this desk uh, and I, I moved a bunch of stuff, but that's it. That's the full extent of what I managed to do. The big problem is really that like the time of day where I would be most inclined to come do things is like, eight or nine at night. And I don't love being down here once the sun goes down. This is mostly because um, of this window and like, it's an irrational fear. <laughs> also the lighting down here is very, very bad. Like the ring light is maybe doing some work to make it seem like that's not the case, but it is in fact quite terrible. All of this is stuff that I'm like intending to fix. Like my goal is that once I, you know, fix this space up down here, I am more inclined to be down here at all hours. Uh, but as it stands right now, I don't love being down here after the sun goes down. It is almost seven o'clock. I have about two hours of, of daylight left. And my goal is to, I gotta tape the baseboards. I don't really care what happens to these fucking baseboards, but I'll pretend to care and tape the baseboards and then prime. Maybe just maybe I'll get up early enough to do a first coat with the paint in the morning. I don't think I said at any point what I'm actually doing down here, um, like what my, what the end plan is and I'm not going to tell you you're going to you're just going to have to wait and see what I do <laughs> and tell me it's stupid after it's done because the thing is even if I told you it would be too late for you to stop me you know what I mean it is once again after a work day uh it's like six o'clock now the idea that I was gonna get up in the morning and come down here was always absurd. <laughs> I don't know why I suggested it in the first place. We've reached a, a very cool moment of truth, which is that you're about to see the paint color. So get ready. <laughs> um, I'm painting the walls black and now, you know, I'm gonna do that. Hello. I have finished painting. I don't know how many days have passed. I don't know what, I, I don't know where I'm at on this. I know that I did not record last night when I came to do a second coat, but just trust me, a second coat happened. It's looking, you know, um, like I painted it black. It looks painted. I have way too much paint. I mean, I still have a lot of basement left to paint, but I definitely, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I bought these blinds a couple of weeks ago uh, and honestly, this whole thing happened, all of this, because I bought these blinds. Cause I really wanted to put these blinds up just so that I could have control over the vis visibility of this window um, because it's the, the reason that I get freaked out about being down here at night. It makes no sense. It's not rational. Don't worry about it. But the whole thing was that I was like, oh, I should really have like these blinds um, because then I would be much happier in this space in general. But then I thought to myself, I can't just put the blinds up because I'll have to put these brackets in and whenever I finally get around to painting, I'll either have to like take the brackets out or like, you know, the brackets, whatever, that's the way. So I probably shouldn't do the blinds until after I paint. It's been like a whole, like a whole thing. And um, I'm gonna be so honest with you, all of this, all of this has actually just been about the blinds. I mean, you know, like I was gonna do all of this eventually anyway, um, but this is the real, this is the real mission. This is, <laughs> this is what it's really all about for me. It's so noisy right now. I don't know what exactly is being picked up in there, but I have a dehumidifier and also the AC is going and there's just like a lot of noise happening. But anyway, yesterday I tried to put the blinds up, I installed the brackets in the wrong place and thought I could just like force it. <laughs> Uh, and that was bad and incorrect. And 
uh, I got so frustrated that I just gave up. I said, never mind, I'm done for today. So I actually accomplished nothing. In fact, less than nothing because I have to remove these incorrectly installed brackets. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna pull the brackets down. I'm gonna put them back in their correct place. And then I'm gonna hang this up. And then I'm going to start getting some other stuff situated. New outlet plate covers. I also have a light that I wanna put up here for when I'm in this room at night. Right now, the only light that is down here is this overhead light. I'm not actually 100% sure what I do want in the way of, of lighting, but it's not that. Anyway, my to-do list for today is that I wanna put the blinds up, I wanna put the light up, and then I wanna put the outlet covers on, and then I wanna move my desk back into its little corner where it goes. Okay, so it has been a minute since I last checked in because I have not been feeling great. I've been feeling like shit. I'm still not feeling amazing, but I thought I might try to put together a bookshelf. And my plan was to build the bookshelf and then paint the bookshelf. But I think it will probably be easier to paint it in pieces, particularly because I have spray paint and I, it's like, it is just too hot right now to do that outside. Like I have no choice but to do the spray paint inside. Also, I have no idea what the background noise situation is. It is loud as fuck in here right now. That is a problem with this space that I will have to solve soon because I'm recording a podcast episode this weekend. So I do need to figure out how to solve that. I guess I will just have to melt for a little while. For all of the things that I'm gonna do in this project that I can foresee people being like really weird to me about, um, the bookshelf is the one where I'm like, you know what? I get it, actually. It's not gonna stop me. I'm still gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Um, but I do understand, I do understand of all the things that might have people be like, you, you fucking cunt, how dare you do this to the precious wood or whatever uh, internet weirdos like to say um, when other people do DIY projects that they don't like and will never actually have to encounter in real life whatever. I'm gonna spray paint it pink. I don't know if that's the correct choice. Like, I don't know if I should be spray painting. I don't know if I should be paint painting it. And you can tell me in the comment, it's too late. I've already done what I'm gonna do, but you can tell me in the comments what I should have done differently. And that's okay. I don't, I like also truly don't care. The problem with painting them first though, is that I feel like I would wanna do that one at a time. I mean, I have a good amount of space down here, so it wouldn't be impossible. I feel like it will be easier if I paint the one bookshelf, build it, paint the other bookshelf, build it. Doing it this way does mean that it's gonna take days <laughs> for the bookshelves to be done, but also it truly, truly does not matter. Like I'm not in any real hurry. I'm just gonna do it. So I didn't do that. In case you were watching and going, oh my God, what's she doing? She should not spray paint that inside. Uh, that is not, I didn't do that. <laughs> so anyway, I went to the store today and I bought some pink paint and I, I painted um, or I started painting. It's still gonna be kind of an involved process. I didn't film myself painting because it's quite hot and I don't wanna run up my energy bill. So uh, I made sartorial choices while painting that I'm comfortable making alone in my home, but I maybe don't wanna make on YouTube. I'm only gonna do the one coat and then I'll put it together. And then like, if I feel like it needs to be touched up after it's built, I will do that. Is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Once again, it's too late to change what I've done, but you can surely tell me that I'm stupid. I'm now just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit. Um, I mean, it's kind of late. I took a little, a little nap after work. <laughs> so um, I don't actually have a ton of time tonight to go about flipping and doing another coat. So probably not until tomorrow. Maybe I'll get up in the morning and do it early. I'm never gonna get up in the morning <laughs> and do anything early, but you know, maybe, maybe tomorrow is the day that I become a completely different person. Who can say? I just realized that in that clip, you can't actually see the shelves. <laughs> you can see me, but there's the pieces of the shelf uh, that I painted. Hello, we are kind of in the end game now of, of getting my little space set up. If I actually go back to being a person who makes videos, <laughs> this is, this is the, the spot where I'll be doing that.
from. I painted the bookshelves. I assembled the bookshelves. I touched up the paint. I don't think I recorded any of that. I don't know that it shows up on camera, but I did uh, kind of fuck up this shelf when I was putting it together. Um, there's a couple different like stabilizing attachment things happening on the back and one of the screws I put in, I guess too high because it's like lightly split the, the shelf. Uh, <laughs> but you know, whatever, it's fine. Once I put some books on top of it, you won't even be able to see it. So shrug, whatever. The thing now is that I have to start like filling in this space and figuring out, you know, it's like stuff is here. I've painted the walls. I've got this going on. I put my little fringy things back up. This actually came from an Easter basket that my mom made me this year. Uh, so this year, Easter was on Sunday. My birthday was on Thursday and I closed on this house on Friday. So uh, my mom, Sunday morning, she got up to go to church and then swung by Target on her way home and uh, came back and made me this little Easter basket uh, and, bought a bunch of these things as like grass. The basket was just like, you know, house stuff. So like there was a trash can for my bathroom and uh, little things like that. I put this one up almost immediately because my background in like calls and stuff was so sad looking. And it was especially sad looking coming off of the very elaborate setup that I had previously. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> I put that up. So like at this point, the, the major things that are left are that I, obviously I have to put stuff in the bookshelves and I wanna like put stuff on the walls. Before I get to any of that though, I have this uh, box of d disco <laughs> uh, sheet things. I bought this ages ago and just, just been sitting here waiting for me to find a purpose for it. I think my original vision was like something along this wall here, but I feel like it would take a lot of them to really complete it. I could just do like, a row of them along the side here. My other thought was that I could put them like on the front of the shelves. Uh, I mentioned this to my bestie who suggested that I actually put them in the back of the shelves so that they would sort of like peek through behind the books, which I think could be really cute and fun. It would also probably hold up a little bit better because like nothing is gonna tug at it from the back of the shelf. Whereas like, I don't know, over time, I might scrape at them or something on the front of the shelves. That might be a non-issue uh, of a concern, but I genuinely have no idea how durable these things are. So uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's first. Then I'm gonna start putting up some like art and stuff on 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 my wall. All right, I'm committing. I'm gonna we're gonna put the the shiny stuff on the back of the bookshelves, and hopefully it'll be cool. <laughs> I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, so quick update. Uh, one, I didn't have nearly as many disco thingies as I thought, so I got <laughs> as much of that done as I could. I'm gonna get more at some point, I don't know. I probably won't do the whole thing, like the bottom shelves in particular, I won't do. I don't know if I'll do the second, like one, two, three. I wanna do the top three shelves, um, maybe the fourth two. TBD. The more important update though, is that I put a bunch of stuff up on the walls. This, uh, it's a Welcome to Night Vale poster that I've had for years. At this point, like it's it's not even a Night Vale poster so much as it is like a poster that I've had for many years. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense to you the way that it makes sense in my head. This is a thing that a friend made me. Well, just the, the paper piece of this, it was a birthday present from an internet friend uh, 10 years ago, at least 10 years ago. It was before I started working at Complexly, so a very long time ago. Anyway, I had both of these things on the walls, like with, with like sticky things, and at some point, one or both of them came loose. So clearly I need to stick them to the wall more permanently. Unfortunately, when they came down, they took this little robot guy with them and um, broke his little leg. I'm pretty sure I can fix it. I have some wire. Um, it won't be that hard, but even so, very sad. While I'm explaining these pieces, this, uh, it says, thanks, I made it. My friend Abby made it for me. Um, and uh, this I bought uh, at like a, somewhere in, in Missoula, at like, a, like an art fair or of some sort. I cannot tell you who made it, but I love it. It's super cute. And this bat I made, made by me. Wow. Anyway, I'm gonna try to, get all that fixed and figured out, so.
Great. This wall is now done in the sense that I'm no longer making immediate changes, but it's not done in the sense that it will never really be done and I'll probably always keep adding things to it. My last major project is raising these shelves. They're just a little bit shorter than I wanted them to be. I don't know if this angle properly communicates the the, the issue up at the top, but they're, I, I just want them to be higher than they are. So I bought these things. Um, they are, they're dunnage shelves, I bought two of them, uh, and then like boards to lay on top of them. They're rated for 1600 pounds. That was really my big thing was that like these bookshelves here are, they're wood, they're solid wood. They're not uh oh what's it called yeah, the the cheapy like not wood stuff that is in most bookshelves that you buy at like target or ikea these are these are wood and since they're so heavy i just felt like anything i put underneath them needed needs to be incredibly sturdy the simplest thing to do would have been to just get like risers but i don't know they're <sighs> like the the way that the legs are at the bottom of the shelves it would have been sort of tricky to find risers that were the right size i i don't know this the solution that i've arrived at does feel a little bit extra. Like it feels <laughs> like I'm doing, uh, kind of doing the most in a way that is unnecessary. That is very on brand. I also bought two project boards that are the same size as sort of the top surface area of this. And I'm gonna paint those this same pink uh, and set those on top of there. And then the shelves will go on top of that. And then I, it will be time to put stuff in the bookshelves. And then I'll be I'll be done-ish. Here, now, in the final stage of the project, I did finally get up early enough to do something before work. <laughs> and that something is fill these fucking shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so I have these Illumicrate editions of uh, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Uh, I don't really have a lot of like fancy copies of books, but I do have these because they're freaking beautiful. And because it was like a book box situation, it came with all this other stuff. I, this is the only book box I've ever bought, so I'm not like used to this. Uh, I'm not used to this. They have to go up top because this won't fit anywhere else. The book box also included this. I use this to store uh, manuals. So it's like a laptop manual, air purifier manual. It's my, it's my book of books. <laughs> accessible if I ever need it, but not like a storage space that I'm actively trying to get into on a regular basis. This is not from the book box. Um, my parents went to Prague to visit my youngest sibling over, I think Thanksgiving, they did their study abroad there and uh, brought me back a snow globe because I had a, I used to have a thing for, still have a thing for snow globes. I don't know. Most of my snow globes are Christmas, so they don't, they're not like on display on the regular, uh, but maybe, I don't know, maybe the snow globes will find a home here. Regardless, um, th this is from my parents. The first book starts in Prague, so it, it fits with the little display. I took a little coffee break and I switched mugs. <laughs> I changed what mug I'm using uh, because this mug also came in in my box. I don't know why I'm showing off my uh, four-year-old Illumicrate box stuff, but here we are. I'm gonna jump to the bottom of the shelf because I had actually already put the stuff down here uh, and then had to move it when I moved the shelves and all of this stuff is currently sitting on my chair. So this is my um, flight pad. This has all the stuff that I take with me when I go flying. Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, the 2023 Far Aim. I'm missing a couple of my aviation books. I think they might still be at my mom's house, but that's what I have with me. It will live down there. That's a fun color. It doesn't really want to stand. Yeah, okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig. These are not my only bookshelves. I have other shelves uh, with books. The things that I am putting on these bookshelves are basically all favorites or nonfiction book club books. I think the goal is gonna be that we're filling the rest of these shelves with fiction favorites, and then we're gonna start going down the line, filling as many of my nonfiction book club books as possible. And then I think I have a handful of other like nonfiction favorites. I feel like I want the nonfiction book club books to be in the order that we discussed them. Since I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy up top, I'm gonna try to start filling this out with YA. I don't think I have a full shelf full of YA, but um, we'll, I'll get it. <laughs> I'll do what I can. We have read so many fucking books for nonfiction book club. I'm learning as I do this that the definition of favorite is sort of loose and complicated. I'm like this is the right size. I have not actually read this book, so it doesn't belong on these shelves at all. Uh, I'm just gonna put that there as a placeholder. 
so that whenever I figure out where I put Dreamland, I can sub it back in. This is the max height limit for nonfiction book club books. I had to go find Consumed because I just read it for Taylor's Hope Punk book club. I just spotted out of the corner of my eye, another stack of books and it contains Dreamland and Culture Warlords, which is the book I was just looking for. Okay, I just need to like turn this off and, and like quickly put all these books away so I can sit down to my desk and uh, not not be doing this anymore. I was gonna say I'll see you later, but you'll actually see me in a few seconds. I was thinking about how you can't see the uh, disco paper like at all when some of these shelves are like completely filled up and that was really upsetting to me. So I had the thought that like, what if I, I stacked these books uh, this way, which also would mean that they would easily fill the two shelves. These would come down here. I did this, I'm pretty sure I hate it. I'm pretty sure I hate it. Don't focus on the rest of the shelves, just focus on this shelf. Um, but imagine there's more of them. Tell me in the comments if you don't hate it. I Mostly I don't care what you think. I'm just gonna keep doing the things that I think look good. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm pretty sure I think this is stupid and I'm, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it back. But I feel like if, if people disagree, if people are like, no, Nicole, that's a vibe, do that then maybe I will. Is it stupid? I think it's stupid. I'm going to put them back. The other update is that I found my French copy of Where the Wild Things Are. Very important. The other thing that I'm missing that goes right here is my His Dark Materials books. And that's it. We're done for now. I mean, I still have to finish tracking down all my books to fill in the shelves and I will be rearranging this probably for ages. Like I still have to add all of my selling books probably in that little section right there. I have more aviation books that will go down on that bottom shelf um, and then like a ton of additional fiction. Part of the situation with my books is that I boxed them up when I left Missoula and started taking them out kind of haphazard. Like I took some of them out to live on a shelf in my office uh, and some of them I took out to like stay in my bedroom and then many of the rest of them lived in different boxes. That's part of why I do have all of my nonfiction book club books because that is something that I did almost immediately was unpack those and put them up in my office. Really, really like having this bookshelf so close to my desk. Like there have been a couple times on the streams where we started talking about past books and I'm like, oh, let me go. And like, I got to, you know, had to get up and, <laughs> and walk over to my shelf and go digging for them. But I like that they're just all there. Anyway, the bookshelves are still a work in progress. I'll probably be rearranging this forever. Ever. So to what degree are we really done? Eh. I think my personal favorite thing is the little spaceman ornament that I hung up over the moon. <laughs> Just coming down in the morning to start my day and turning on the little moon and the little spaceman hovering over him. I, d I just love it. I just love it. Speaking of the moon, I don't think you can see this in the frame, but I have the moon sitting on this guy, which I don't know, like maybe I should try to put up on the wall, but it's very delicate. Uh, my grandma made this for me many, many years ago. Uh, she intended it to be a uh, like perfume, like a place to set my perfume bottles on. Uh, because at the time I was very big into perfume. I had a lot of different perfume bottles. Now I really just have one that I, <laughs> I use. So it's it's a little bit excessive. Um, so I have it down here. The moon is sitting on it. It's not particularly visible to you or anybody but me, but I can see it and look at it every day and I love it. Anyway, that was my journey of setting up my little office corner. There's still more work to be done in this basement. I don't know that I'll vlog all of that because this was honestly kind of annoying. <laughs> also, if there's anything specific here that I glossed over that you were like, why did you do that? D ask me and I will explain it. Just in case we somehow missed this, uh, my decision-making process throughout all of this was really just vibes. Uh, it was like, what do I feel like doing right now? There was no planning. Uh, and honestly, I don't regret that. Like I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not looking around at this with any sense of like, man, I really should have planned better. I had a vague idea and I just went with it and I, I'm gonna keep being that way. <laughs> I'm gonna keep being that way. Okay, well, great. Thanks for watching.